Right, here we go again. Still got the same famous walk. One pan, you don't have to have everything. You can use a griddle, a griddle pan if you got one. I'm just get this wok hot. The best way to cook steak, a hot pan. And I'm gonna get it out. You can hear it now. There's a tiny little bit of oil left in. There we go, you can hear it. So he's our rib eyes. As I say, room temperature, a little bit of salt and pepper. There you go, there's one. There's two. I'm just going to wash one's hands. I'm going to get rid of this plate. mistake what people make when they cook steak. They give up one of them with a fork, they move it about. Don't! Just get your pan off. Just let it cook. So the uh, peppers, they're being in for about 8-9 minutes. Mushrooms, they're in. So I'm just waiting for our steak to cook. Let it season itself. You can smell those well, can you? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just going to whack these over. There's one. Cold. Some people like them a little bit raw, some people like them well cold. It depends on the individual. I'm going to get them pan. Season a little bit longer. Slowly let them cold. I just hate the feeling. Ah, I can't. I just hate it. I usually feel this. I'm not wrong with that. It runs me out of the plane. Turn down the traction. See that one? I'm blind. Just flip them over. I'm going to go a little bit wrong there, but what the heck? These start going off. They can't open properly. I think with red light steaks as well, some people, I don't think you can overcoat them, but I think you can, but not as, if you get fried steak, you can overcoat them, it's in and out, red eyes, it's just so juicy, so tender, might cost a little bit more, but 
You want to explain it for the same or how long is this? Put it in the banana. And I'm going to put that in now. So there, that. Leave them there. I've got some spring onions. I'm going to do with these. Just put them on the side of the wok. They just need to be blanched. There we go. Whatever way you can get them. So they're just going to be blanched. So I'm going to turn that up on the low end now. Put that, put that one there. Oh, that one's on. I'm going to turn this oven off. Because I know it's a fat there, John. Just all your flavours are just going to go nicely. And then... To me, that can go off. Let's remove that. Okay, one plate. There we go. On garlic prawns, what we left. It's on there. So now, what are those things? That's right off of that. Move around, move around. There's one nice stick. I'm just going to do a bit by bit, push one down. As I've said before, always use a dry tea towel getting things out your own or an oven glove. Don't use it wet because you'll burn oneself. Look at them. They're going to go there. I just want to put that there. Obviously, you've got tongs, you've got whatever you want to use. Please do so. Which I shall get. Because <laughs> that is hot. But please be careful, it's going to be hot. Especially with cheese. Oh, see? Okay. Fresh and pepper, yeah. Mucked it up. But, I'll try again. You got that in the middle of it? Yeah, well. <laughs> Near enough. Now, it's felt a bit. Well, look, I'm not perfect. Fresh and pepper, yeah. Be better off doing that. There's one's place. Look, as I say, I'm raw, I'm blind. So, basically. Use your fingers, there you go, straight on. How's that? Right, wash my hands again. People ask me how to do a blind, as long as your fingers are washed. Shall I shall get my tea towel. Where did there? Uh... There it is. These are old peppers. Say, be careful. I'm just doing as I say, I'm doing it raw. I've had plenty of people around, I've had family around, and everything. You're gonna to have to be really careful with these tin foil gone out. See them? See where your cheeses and your juices have stopped in? Your peppers are not soggy at all. I'm just going to put that on there. There you go. Get rid of that. What do you think of that being blind? If you want to add sweet corn and a basket of chips, we all do frozen chips. But what does that look like? Nice. There we go. Now we're going to eat it and enjoy. 
See you next time.